be the first to say first of all thoughts and prayers to everyone that's going through this right now thoughts and prayers go out to the people that lost loved ones friends wives husbands fathers mothers this has just been a terrible crisis that's been going on in this world and us at off the cover radio want to send our condolences to everybody even the ones that recovered i wish y'all the best but I wanted to do this video and focus on the positives of this lockdown. The positives of this lockdown. And I want to be the first to say, just like I said in the video about Diddy, the, one of the positives that it evened out the playing field of life. From the way we brought up in this world, it was about the rich get rich and the poor don't get an effing thing. It was about the have or the have nots. As Michael does with quote, quote in Wall Street, greed is good. That's the philosophy that America has been living on for centuries. So what do we see right now is a situation where it humbles. It hum not only humbles people, but the cripple effect is affecting millionaires. Because think about every time there's a crisis, millionaires, billionaires are usually the ones that are exempt from this their money protected them now we have a crisis where businesses are folding jobs are folding stocks stocks is plummeting it's affecting everybody everybody got to follow the guidelines or the rules crooked execs are, are, are affected the music industry is affected the entertainment world is affected and you got to look at it like this this is a resetting of the world that we already knew and familiar with. Because what is normal? Police shootings. Shooting innocent black people down like dogs in the street. What is normal? People being screwed out of their hard work wages and health care. What is considered normal? You being denied of a job not because of your character but because of the color of your skin. What is normal? The court system that makes billions of dollars, the prison system that makes billions of dollars of incriminating innocent black men and women and people of, and brown people. I mean, look at it like this, man. What is normal? Chemicals, poisoning the food. Chemicals poisoning the food. You have all these chemtrails in the air. Poisoning people. All this got to stop some way, somehow, man. And, so, and it's, it had to take a pandemic like this to make people's lives become more prioritized because we live in a shallow culture where there's no dignity, there's no rules, there's no form of honor, no prestige no more. It's about get the bag or nothing. Because let me give you some of the some of the outlooks. You could look outside for the first time in 20 or 30 something years and you see a clear blue sky outside. No chemtrails, no smoke, no pollution, none of that. You see crime decreasing. Crime is decreasing. School shooting, there haven't been a school shooting for the first time in 20 years. This month marks that. Then you have the ozone layer. It's slowly resurfacing and coming back to its true origin. Then it also is getting making people sit down and really prioritize their true talents and true nature. I learned to cut my hair. We learned to cut our own hair. We learned to cook our own food and grow our own food. You're taking time out from the world to really learn your true calling. To read books, to look at documentaries, to study up on information that you never really had a chance to do because you were so out there in the world. Then look at also what it's doing in the, to the music industry. It's resetting itself. You can't get on just for clout no more. You got to now have a serious merit of talent. You got to have a message within your, your music to really hit people now because everybody's on the same field and they need that message 
So ain't no clubbing. It's no clubbing. It's no no nightlife, no bars, no um the the formal silver of life has pretty much been changed. Now, for the better or for the worse, we all know in the meantime, but sometimes you got to take the positives for what it is. You got to take the positives for what it is right now and take advantage of it because on the downtime, you get to build with your family. You get to build with your children. You get to build with the people that you love. It shows you right there that life could just be over within a snap of a finger because even within... I said this many times. The death of Kobe Bryant was a changer. Because everybody in society looked at these people as gods. When Kobe died, so did the myth of the celebrity. The myth of the celebrity being untouchable. That's gone now. And this virus here came through and it pretty much created a playing field to where millionaires are equal to the people that don't have that. Let that sink in for a minute. So, that's some of the positives that I could pretty much lay out. And you also get to see how much of a sham this country is really is when it comes to health care, when it comes to greed, when it comes to not really looking out for your fellow man or woman. You start seeing the real true beast come to life. And it needs to happen. So, this is King Eric the Great signing out. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to chop it up with me. Holler at you.